Who was the first queen to rule the ancient sands of Egypt? A woman shrouded in mystery, her name was Mernith. Picture a time when the world as we know it was still in its infancy. A time when the wheel was yet to be invented and the great pyramids of Giza were nothing but a distant dream in the minds of future generations. This was the era of ancient Egypt, a civilization that has fascinated historians, archaeologists, and enthusiasts alike for centuries. Ancient Egypt, a land of mystery and marvel, has left behind a rich tapestry of history that continues to captivate us. From the monumental pyramids to the intricate hieroglyphs, each artifact tells a compelling story. But today we're not here to speak about the tangible remnants of this magnificent civilization. Instead, we're about to delve into a tale that has been shrouded in enigma for far too long. In the annals of ancient Egypt, we find the tale of a remarkable woman who rose to power when patriarchal rule was the norm. This woman was none other than Mernith, widely believed to be the first queen of Egypt. Her name, which translates to beloved by Neith, reflects her association with the ancient Egyptian deity Neith. Now you might be wondering, what do we know about Queen Mernith? The truth is, not much. Her story, like many of the women from her time, has been largely overshadowed by the narratives of the more well-known pharaohs. But every now and then, history throws us a bone, allowing us to piece together the remarkable journey of this ancient queen. Merneith's reign, her accomplishments, her trials, and her legacy are all elements of a puzzle that we'll be exploring in this series. We'll attempt to paint a picture of the life and times of this remarkable woman, who ruled one of the most advanced civilizations of the ancient world. So buckle up, history enthusiasts. Ancient Egypt awaits us with its sand-covered secrets and timeless tales. Join us as we unravel the remarkable life and reign of Queen Merneith. The throne of Egypt was not always graced by the presence of a queen. Let's take a step back in time, to an era when the pyramids were still a glimmer in an architect's eye, and the Nile flowed undisturbed by the hustle and bustle of civilization. Here in this primitive land, a young girl named Merneith was born. She was no ordinary child, she was a royal born into the first dynasty of Egypt, a lineage of rulers that would shape the land's destiny for centuries to come. As the daughter of Pharaoh Jet, Merneith was groomed for power from a young age, but even she might not have anticipated the extraordinary path her life would take. Upon the untimely death of her brother, the rightful heir, Merneith was thrust into the spotlight. She was to become the first queen of Egypt, a role never before held by a woman. It was a daunting prospect. The society she lived in was steeped in patriarchy and the idea of a female ruler was unheard of. But Merneith was not one to shy away from a challenge. She donned the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt, took her place on the throne, and began her reign. Her ascension was met with skepticism and resistance. There were those who doubted her capabilities, who questioned her right to rule. But Merneith was not deterred. She met each challenge head-on, proving herself to be a leader of exceptional wisdom and strength. She made difficult decisions, brokered peace with neighboring tribes, and guided Egypt through times of uncertainty. Merneith was a beacon of change in a world resistant to it. She navigated through the turbulent waters of tradition and skepticism, carving out a place for herself in a world dominated by men. Her reign was not just a testament to her strength and resilience, but also a beacon of hope for future generations of women who dared to dream beyond the limits set by society. Through courage and determination, Merneith proved herself a worthy leader. And so the stage was set for the rise of a queen, a woman who would forever change the course of Egyptian history. Merneith's reign was not just remarkable, but it was a time of prosperity and growth for ancient Egypt. This queen was a beacon of power. Her rule etched in the annals of time for her impressive contributions to the development of ancient Egypt. Let's delve into the achievements of Merneith, a woman of strength and wisdom. Her reign was characterized by expansive construction projects, demonstrating a keen eye for architecture and urban planning. She oversaw the construction of remarkable tombs, temples, and monuments which not only served as symbols of her power but also fostered the growth of arts and culture. Merneith was not just a builder of structures but also a builder of alliances. She understood the importance of diplomatic relations fostering alliances with surrounding nations. These connections brought an influx of wealth into Egypt, further fueling its prosperity. Her economic acumen was equally impressive. Under her reign, the economy thrived with flourishing trade and commerce. 
She promoted the production of goods from pottery to textiles, enhancing the economic stature of Egypt on the global stage. Merneith's reign was also marked by a period of peace and stability. She maintained a strong and disciplined military ensuring the safety of her people and the protection of her kingdom. This era of tranquility allowed for the growth of intellectual pursuits, the development of arts, and the advancement of science and technology. But it wasn't just her political prowess and economic sagacity that set her apart. Merneith was a queen of the people. She invested in public works and infrastructure, ensuring the well-being of her citizens. Her rule was not one marked by the pursuit of personal glory, but rather by the pursuit of a thriving, prosperous Egypt. Her leadership was a blend of strength and compassion, a mix of economic growth and cultural advancement. Her legacy was one of power and prosperity, a testament to her rule. Merneith, the first queen of Egypt, was indeed a beacon of power and prosperity, her reign a golden era in the rich tapestry of ancient Egypt's history. All reigns must end, and so did Merneith's. As the wheel of time turned, Merneith's reign drew to a close. This remarkable queen who had ruled with wisdom and strength finally succumbed to the inevitable passage of time. Yet even in death, she continues to captivate us with the mystery and grandeur that surrounded her life. Merneith's burial was as majestic as her reign. She was laid to rest in a tomb at Abydos, an ancient city of great significance to the Egyptians. Her tomb was not a mere burial chamber, but a complex structure that reflected the status and power she had held in life. It was larger than any other tomb of the First Dynasty, rivaling even those of the kings. The tomb, known as Tomb Y, was filled with an array of artifacts that spoke volumes about the queen's life and reign. There were several hundred graves of servants surrounding the tomb, an indication of the immense respect and reverence they held for their queen. Among the artifacts found within the tomb were numerous seals bearing the names of several early Egyptian kings, suggesting that Merneith perhaps served as a regent a guiding hand steering the kingdom through times of transition. Yet the mystery of Merneith's tomb runs deeper. Despite its grandeur and the wealth of artifacts it contained, no body was found within the tomb. This led to speculation that the tomb was symbolic, a testament to her reign rather than her final resting place. Perhaps her body lies elsewhere waiting to be discovered, or perhaps in a final act of defiance, she chose to be buried in a place known only to her. The absence of her body adds an extra layer of enigma to the already fascinating tale of Merneith. It leaves us with more questions than answers, driving our curiosity and our desire to learn more about this formidable queen. In death as in life, Merneith remained a figure of intrigue and power. Merneith's story is more than just a tale of power and intrigue. It is a testament to the resilience and capability of women in a time when they were often relegated to the sidelines. This queen, this woman of grit and determination, was no ordinary monarch. She was a trailblazer, a beacon of power, and a symbol of resilience. Merneith's historical significance is not just tied to her reign, but also to the precedent she set. She was not just a queen consort or a queen mother, but a queen regent and perhaps even a pharaoh in her own right. She reigned supreme, not just in titles, but also in actions. She was a ruler when women were seldom seen in such positions of power, and she wielded her authority with grace and wisdom. Her reign was a testament to her leadership and her legacy is far-reaching. She paved the way for future female rulers, setting a precedent that women could lead, could rule, and could govern. She shattered the glass ceiling of her time and in doing so, she became a role model for future generations of women in power. Her influence on Egypt's history is profound. She was an integral part of the first dynastic period, a time of growth and development for ancient Egypt. Her reign saw the expansion of trade, the strengthening of diplomatic relations, and the advancement of art and culture. She was a pillar of stability in a time of change, guiding Egypt into a new era of prosperity. Even after her death, her legacy lived on. Her tomb, one of the largest and most lavish of its time, was a testament to her influence and power. But her true legacy lies not in her tomb, but in the impact she had on Egypt and the world. Merneith's life and reign have left an indelible mark on the sands of time. Her story is a testament to the power of women, to the resilience of leaders, and to the enduring legacy of a queen who reigned supreme.